So I got the driver's side signal on right now. There she is. Friggin' rights. Well, I finally got a light kit and light and wiring like I originally wanted to. This is not the LED one, but the LED one was sold out when I went. Made in Canadian land. Oh my goodness. Well, I painted the brake drums or the hubs and I put screws from inside the fenders up into the rails to the top rails. Well, I made the tailgate latch support thing. Which, uh, stud or half inch bar with a, a hairpin lock pin through it. And this here up top is very similar. But it's a uh, 7 sixteenths instead of half inch so yeah there's also another hole here so you can tilt the gate back a little bit and drop your pin down into this hole and it gives you a little bit of a if you need a little more length or whatever it leans the tailgate back a bit so there's two different positions there so I welded this thing on here and it goes over that and you can turn it that way or you can put a padlock on it or both turn it and put a padlock on it. So I think I'm almost done with the toolbox. Almost. Well, I finally got a light kit and light and wiring like I originally wanted to. This is not the LED one, but the LED one was sold out when I went. And uh, now these ones here just came on sale for 20 bucks with side markers and harness and license plate bracket. So I think I'm going to try these taillights here because they have the side marker on the taillight as well with its own bulb. Yeah, they have a little side marker. And this one has no license plate light, so that's the passenger side. And this one has a license plate window for the light to shine down on the license plate. That's the driver's side. So I think these lights are going to be better. I needed the harness anyway. This is the part I needed here. This runs down both sides. Uh, there's green and green and brown on one side and yellow and brown on the other side so you can run wires down both sides and light up your side markers <clears throat> something something like that somewhere I don't know I'll figure that out these are the ones I got when I originally couldn't couldn't get the LED kit I bought two of these they were only like four dollars each but they don't have the side marker so uh, I might go ahead and put the other ones on anyway it even comes with the vehicle harness if you need the piece to tap into your vehicle so that's kinda handy 
and this is exactly why I wanted this one it has two brown wires coming off of the that's your tail light so there's two wires there oh my goodness yeah there's two wires there on the brown side so one goes to the green which I think is passenger side and the other brown wire goes to the yellow which is the driver's side I believe is it, the white wire is short because it's a ground so you just ground it to the chassis somewhere and it's plenty long enough if I leave a couple of feet overhang and it's just coiled just coiled up loose here lots of loose and it's lots of long lots of length so we're good directions <clears throat> So, the right side, which would be the passenger side, is green, green and brown. And the driver's side is yellow and brown, which is exactly what I said. So, there's your plug-in, your harness splits into two. So there's two harnesses going back, which is awesome, that's what I wanted. That way it's easier to tap into your side markers. Yeah. <clears throat> Instructions. And bag of goodies here comes with these keepers keeper clips to tie the harness up oh my goodness so I was looking for a way to route these wires so where am I gonna route them and I was thinking maybe in the toolbox and through that hole perhaps but then I came to a realization that this tube here is hollow and the harness is split for quite a ways all the way up to the plug so this hollow uh, box section uh, it runs alongside the frame so the frame starts here and the tongue goes inside of the frame so the tongue is hollow box and it it overlaps about I don't know a foot or something like that 16 inches it overlaps so under here right here is the is the other end of that tube from the tongue so I'm gonna run I made this rig here, this apparatus. It used to be a big fiberglass whip from an uh, antenna or a flag. Uh, it should be it should be about 10 feet long now because I taped a uh, antenna, like a stainless steel antenna on there. And then there's a fiberglass whip rod. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to stick it inside of the frame or inside of the tongue the hollow tube. I'm gonna go around this corner here. That's why it has to be flexible like an antenna. I'm gonna feed the rod up through to here and then I'm gonna tie or tape my wire to the rod and then I'm gonna pull the wire back through to here or yeah back to here underneath. It'll be inside of the frame. It'll be hidden out of sight and out of the weather. It'll be inside of the frame tube, and then from here back, I can clip it to the cross members with these with these clips. Man, everything looks everything looks so nice and clean under here. Not for long, probably.
going to keep feeding it. It's getting tight because I'm going around the corner now, but I'm just going to keep feeding it in there until it comes out the front. There's the antenna there coming out of this tube. So I'm going to take the green, green and brown. This is a split harness. So green and brown is the passenger side. So I'm going to take this wire and tape it, tape it there somewhere ahead of that ball and make sh tape it on there pretty decent and then I'm just going to pull it, pull it back through. Driver's side is yellow and brown. Well, there she is. I've got just ahead of the back wheel here. Or, sorry, yeah, just ahead of the wheels here. That's where the tongue ends and the frame starts now I just need to run them underneath the boards or underneath the trailer to the taillights these side marker lights they come with a short wire quite short like like that short very very short so I got this tiny little wire and it has to reach the main harness on both sides so I drill the hole because the wire comes off of the bulb here and then it's supposed to go around to this hole here so it doesn't chafe on the ground these are ground this is a ground strap and this is your live wire so you don't want your live wire chafing on your ground so by the time you take this wire, the short little wire, loop it around, put it through that hole, and loop it around inside of the housing there, then you only got maybe a couple inches left, and my frame is two by four box section. So I got this tiny little, I want to mount it here, and I got this tiny little wire that has to reach the harness, but the harness is two inches away because I got a two by four frame here so I need as much I need as much wire as I can get so there's these notches in the bottom and that's where the wire can come out like if you mount it flush the wire has to come out somewhere so those notches will be pointing down so the rain doesn't get in there and that'll make that'll make my wire as short as possible in here and as long as possible out here so I have to mount it and get it to reach the main harness under up underneath which is that might be fine if you have like an angle iron boat trailer or something but this is a tube 2x4 two tube section so it's it's got to reach so I had to drill a hole in each one of those Drilled the hole there and there, same thing on the other side. And then you take you take these which they provide they provide in the kit and it basically turns your one brown wire, your tail light, and it turns it into two wires so you can run one of them to here. And one of them will be dead on uh, has a blank in there. So you slide that in the blank side, because the blank side has a stopper in it, and the other one goes straight through. And the one that goes straight through is going to be the brown one. So I'm trying to hold the camera right now, but you just slide that over top of the brown wire on both sides. So the brown wire goes in there, not the green just the brown and then when you pinch down on it it also pinches down 
on your little wire that comes off your uh, side light, your side marker. It pinches and it makes connection into these these two grooves here. It uh, it connects them together. So your when you turn on your tail light, your uh, side marker comes on. Okay, we got the harness here that plugs into the vehicle. Uh, the ground, the white wire is ground, so I have to hook that up here somewhere, ground it to the chassis. And I've got the green wire, green side, green and brown, going down the passenger side. Yellow and brown going down the driver's side. I got them all tucked inside of the inside of the a-frame tongue and then I've got it, I ran it over the axle inside of the leaf springs because it's going to be tied up to the deck or tied up to the cross members over the axle there it is there we got lots of lengths here even extra lengths extra lengths at the front <laughs> yeah so anyway I got lots of lengths so I'll have to figure out this one has two blacks so I'll have to figure out which is the I think the red is for your brakes and signals and I think the black is for the tail light yellow green white brown oh okay yeah I was right black is the brown and the red is the either green or yellow depending on which side you're working on driver's side or passenger side Well, I got the new tail lights mounted. I use these self-tapping screws, same ones that I used to put the deck on here, and I mounted it uh, on the side, the side marker light. Mounted it down low, so I have enough wire to reach my harness, and then I can tuck it up in there. There's, like I say, there's only a short piece of wire here. So I mounted it with the self-tapping screws. They should ground to the chassis with this strip here. So that's your ground. There's your live wire. And the live wire attaches to the taillight wire, which is the brown. So the brown and the live wire are now spliced together here. And that should be that. Now I have to do the other side. I only used two of these on the uh, side markers, one on each side marker. And the taillights have three wires coming out the back, two blacks and a red. And it tells you to run two blacks together to the brown because one of one of them is the side marker and the other one is tail light and they both light up with the same wire so what I did was I took one of these blue things to turn two into one and I turned the two black wires into one so now when I mount the flush uh, if I if I bolt this tail light on nice and flush I can fit two wires in one of these grooves here like that and it won't uh, these wires might be live like when your taillights are on and I don't want them chafing on the frame because this is bolted up to the frame so I can fit two in there but when it had three coming out I couldn't get all three flush so two I can do I can do that so that should be better for the wiring and I like the fact that these have a ground strap that goes across both sides. 
So you can ground it here or here or a combination of both. These other ones that I had, they only have one ground wire on one side or the other. I can't remember. So this will be this will be better. This will be a lot better now. A little bulky and a little low, but it is what it is. The harness is all run. It's all tied up. I used uh, some of those some of those clips and some zip ties. So it's all tucked into the tongue. It's all tied up. It's all tied up inside of the under the deck and uh, the lights are on and wired Every, the only thing I haven't wired is the ground the negative the, yeah the chassis ground but uh, the one thing I don't like about them is the short wires the wires on the back of these lights are super super short so if you have a tube chassis like like I do your wires are just barely enough to run inside the chassis. But, just barely, but it's on there. I could always put a loom, put a wire loom over, over that. There's not enough length to do anything else with it. So, lights are on. Harness is in. Fenders are on. I just gotta, I just gotta clean up this toolbox, and there's not much else really. Not that much else left. So shiny! Oh my goodness! New hubcaps, bearing caps. Whatever you want to call them. Okay, on my car I've got the sig uh, the four-way signals on, and look how dirty this thing is. Oh my goodness, this car needs to be detailed. Anyway, I've got the tail light on and the four-way, both. So when the tail light's on, that's this side marker illuminates. So it's hard to tell, but it's she is lit up, illuminated. So that's a good that's a good thing. Since my tail lights are on, four ways are on, so it's flashing and. And the side marker is lit up because the tail lights are on. Four ways are working, tail lights are working. Now let's make sure let's make sure the signals. It's hard to tell with four ways because both sides flash. With signals only one side flash. So I got the driver's side signal on right now. There she is. Friggin' rights. And the tail lights are on. Tail lights are working. The lights are working, signals, four ways, side markers. Everything's working, boys. Well, there she is, hooked up, wired up. I still have to paint the tailgate and the toolbox, but Zero Fox, I'll do that at a 
I'll do that sometime soon when I get some more paint. Well, I painted the toolbox finally. That looks better.